well, but hi, welcome to my channel or thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, I've been gone for a little bit. I just took a little bit of a break from YouTube so I could focus on my schoolwork and other shit that's going on in my life. But now I'm ready to start again. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Just tell me how you're feeling. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's new in your life. I want to catch up with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Hello, welcome to a little get ready with me for no reason at all. Um, I'm going to be doing my makeup. I uh, just came out of the shower after working out and now let's just get ready together. First, I'm gonna prep my skin. My skincare routine literally did not change from the last video, so I'm just gonna speed this part up. You guys probably have already noticed that I have like weird marks on my skin and um, I didn't address it in the beginning of this video, but basically I was in the woods the other day and right now Canada or Ontario is having this crazy um, European gypsy moth infestation and right now all the little baby caterpillars are out and they have little poisonous furs. So when I was in the woods, a bunch of them landed on my body and I had a severe allergic reaction to their little poisonous furs and I have these like marks all over my body um, as well as on my face as you can see here here like it's everywhere um, so please I'm so sorry for like showing this it kind of looks gross but I can't really help it so I'm sorry and I will try my best to conceal it on my face but I can't really conceal my whole body so yeah anyways um, a few things changed for my uh, beauty routine for my makeup routine. I'm wearing a lot more makeup than I used to um, So that's really fun. And since this summer, I'm also wearing a lot more SPF, which is very important So this is the face blur from Etude House. I love this. It does a really great job like blurring your face But also it has a little bit of SPF, which is really amazing So I'm just gonna put that on my hand and use my finger to blend it in okay my skin tone is much more even now next i'm gonna move on to concealer good news for all my canadian friends the tarte shape tape concealer finally came to canada which is so freaking exciting i've been wanting to try this for like the longest time and i I just purchased it the other day from Sephora. I also put my hair up so I don't look too crazy. Okay, so I put this on all the blemishes that's on my body, on my face. My face is really dry. There's like flaky areas, which is not very good. I should have done a better job prepping my face, but it's okay. <laughs> little um, eyeshadow brush and just like press it in. I've been loving the soap brow look. I'm, I suck at doing it though. Like I'm not the best at doing soap brows, but I think it looks so pretty, so I'm gonna try my best. Oh dear, I just poured some on my leg. Um, I just use a little bit of toner, I pour it on here, and then I use a spoolie brush. And I just swirl it around, and I brush my eyebrows up, but also like towards the outside. <laughs> Shadow. The only eyeshadow palette that I really ever use is the Tartlet Toasted Palette and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I take cashmere 
and I put that all over my lid. And then I take Warm, which is this shade right here, and I put it closer to my lash line, so like right here. Okay, and then I use the residue on the brush and just smoke out my under eye. I've been loving the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. Um, it's a highlighter actually, but then I like to use it on my eyes. And then I take the pinker shade. This is supposed to be a blush, I think. And then I put it on my lid, like all over my lid, and bring it up just the tiniest bit. And I take the this one, the whiter shade, and then I put it on the inner corners and also on the under eye area. If you guys don't think it's glittery enough, you can always add a little bit of liquid to it and then it becomes so much more vibrant. Okay, that's eyeshadow and then we're moving on to eyeliner. I do struggle a lot with eyeliner, <laughs> but it just, it makes a huge difference. So I love using it. This is the one I use, the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. And then I'm in the, I'm using the brown shade because I think that just slightly more like softer, not as like boom in your face, you know, not as bold. <laughs> I do a little bit of mascara Just curl my lashes I just want to know where my lashes are so I can apply false lashes I've been loving this shade. It's so summery and bright. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, makeup routine. And after I got ready, I had lunch and then I did some schoolwork. Now I want to clean the house with you. Right now it looks almost fine. It's still like, that area is pretty messy, but there are lots of parts where the house needs cleaning, especially my room. And I think I'm also gonna like mop the floor and um, I need to do the dishes, I need to do the laundry. I also need to clean out my cat's litter box. So these are a few things that I do have to do today and I wanna do it with you guys. But first thing we're gonna do is the dishes. So let's go wash the dishes together.